What's up guys and gals, welcome to another follow-up episode of Iced. So I felt like you didn't get enough Iced in the last episode. Felt like you didn't get enough Iced. Well, I'm about to ice you up. I'm about to ice you up like a rapper at a gala. You better believe it like a rapper's wife, son. If they have those. Do a lot of rappers have wives? I don't feel like a lot of rappers, given the like subject matter that a lot of the rappers that I listen to rap about, I don't feel like they're really like wife and material, you feel me? I don't, I don't feel like a lot of women are like planning to stay around. I feel like they just get like the general gist of it and they'd be like, yeah, he has money, but you know, there's a whole bitches and hoes thing, like, I don't know. Let's jump across this ice real quick and see if we can find ourselves anything good out here in the flow. Because our flow runs deep, it's so cold. It's ice cold out here in our flow. Looking for, ah, looking for a crate to dig out? Let's go find this thing. Da -na 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 -na, I'm digging up a crate. But if you didn't see the first episode of Iced, I highly recommend it. And that's not just because I'm biased AF. That's not because I'm biased, although I am. I'll be honest about it. I'm super biased. I think you should watch all my stuff. My stuff is the most watchable. But yeah, welcome on back. Uh, we've got... What the hell is that? Is it like a spray can? What the shit is that thing? I don't even know what that is. I just chucked it back on the ground when I picked it up. Hmm. Apparently he don't want it. Is it like bug be gone? Like what is that? Huh. He's not picking it up. What is it? I'm curious. I want to know. What are you? Hold on. I'm coming around the side. I'm going to look at your labeling. Maybe it's an item that hasn't been implemented yet. It looks like it's actually propane, maybe. Pressurized propane. So that's probably the mechanic that they're working on right there, is actually you have to find fuel for your propane tank, too. And my guess is that it's not allowing it to pick us up yet, because your propane tank just kind of works right now without having to be fiddled with. Dude, I cannot see our tent for shit right now. It is so far away. Oof, this is not a good idea. If we cut, if we get caught in a whiteout or anything like that, we have some like deep, deep issues we're gonna have to deal with. Is there anything inside this flow right here? I don't see anything over here. It's like three in the afternoon though, so my estimate is we should probably head back. Let's go back to our tent and uh, let's get ourselves refueled. We'll get some liquid in our system. We'll get some foods in our system. Uh, we've got a bunch of free fish that we gotta fry up. I might be able to catch something by the end of the night, too. We'll jump over to here. I'm gonna do my best not to trip and fall because I think that actually does damage. I think that was one of the principal things that was hurting us the last time we played the game. Is that I was doing all kinds of leaping and vaulting and stuff like that. And I think it was just slowly stacking damage the whole time. And I just failed to notice. I just failed to notice what was happening. And to be fair, that's not entirely outside the ordinary for Splat. Splat does stuff like that all the time. So those among you who have been a part of the channel for a long time, You'll probably be like, oh, shaking my head, splat, you. But those of you that are new here, just be aware that I do dumb stuff all the time. Like, seriously, I do dumb stuff all the time. I blame it on indiscretions when I was in college. I may have done some things in college that I'm not entirely proud of. I may have done some things that, like, fried my brain and maybe did some serious damage to the old neurons. But at the same- ooh, what is that, a battery? Yeah, I'll take a battery, absolutely. So we got a battery now, and what is that? Like a flare cartridge or something, maybe? I don't know if that's a flare cartridge or what that is, but it looks like a flare cartridge to me. Uh, we look a little thirsty right now. Let's go ahead and... Oh, man, I'm dizzy again. Shitty. I don't want to be thirsty, though. Drink another one. We got a chocolate bar right there. I'll probably eat that, but now we're dizzy already again. So the dizziness doesn't seem to go away. The dizziness seems to get stuck. Like, once you're dizzy, you're, like, dizzy for good. And there ain't no way out of it. So I may just, like, restart this one, because dizziness doesn't appear to go away, in my experience. I'm gonna try to pick this up one more time, but I'm thinking it's another item that... Oh, it let me have it that time. Oh, I was full up on my inventory! That's why it wouldn't let me pick up the other thing, it's a rocket. Oh, we got a missile launcher now. If those polar bears come around, trying to start that beef, we're gonna be like, Fucha! And hit them with the rocket launcher. They don't want to know us like that. They don't want to know us like that at all. So we're a little bit dizzy right now. We've got kind of a dizziness thing going on. I assume that's largely due to the fact that I let my water levels get down too low. And it looks like we've got some kind of strength drain or something happening right now. So let's go have a seat inside the tent. I do find the dizziness to be a bit much. I do think it needs to be either removed or lessened pretty considerably because it's pretty... It's pretty bad to look at. If it doesn't go away in the next couple minutes, I'll probably just restart this playthrough because I don't want to subject you guys to that. I already did it in the last episode. And I don't want you to have to go through that again. And frankly, I don't want me to have to go through that again. I just don't want to be sitting, staring at a dizzy screen the entire time, especially if it doesn't feel any call to go away. Like, my water and my hunger appear to be topped out right now. And 
it's still just doing its thing. I mean, we'll look at the dead guy in a minute, but yeah, the dizziness effect either needs to be removed from the game, or it needs to be lessened considerably, or it just needs to be made to work. I don't mind being dizzy so long as it goes away if you fulfill certain criteria, but as of right now, when you fulfill criteria, it doesn't appear to go away. Maybe it has to do with my goggles, maybe I'm like snow blind or something like that, I don't know. I'll put the goggles on for a little while and we'll see if it helps. I don't think that it will, but... If the dizziness goes away after wearing the goggles for a little while, maybe my character is just snow blind, and that's what it's trying to, like, simulate. I'm not sure. We gotta go back into our tent for right now. I think there's some stuff for us to do. We gotta fry up some fishies. If I had one wish, I'd fry a fish. It would go straight in my dish. That is my wish. Gonna fry some fish. It's gonna be delish. Alright. I went with, like, a little ragtime thing right there. You see what I mean? Where you can, like, hear the... You can hear the ukuleles in the background. The do 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 like, it's got that same feel to it, you got me? Uh, we're gonna go over here, and we've gotta gut and clean some fish. And after we gut and clean said fish, life should be a little bit easier. Uh, I am going to clean these fish. It's gonna be a little bit dark for a while, so I don't mind if uh, we do a little cut right here. I'm gonna clean, and I'm gonna cook some fish, and then I'll come back once I go to sleep for the night, and we start doing our first, uh, once we start doing our first mini game challenge, we'll come back with the next part of the footage. So I fried them fishies, and we're actually sleeping right now, so I'm gonna pick myself back up, and it looks like we're inside of another mini-game. Oh shit, there's a big-ass door over there. I gotta run from what looks like a- oh Jesus, big ol' icebreaker. Good lord. Oh, this is not gonna go well for me. There you go, jump to there. Jump to there. Now we got it, doing that platforming action. Gotta outrun this icebreaker though, if we don't outrun it, we're not gonna make it. I got this. No, don't run me over, Icebreaker, please. I'm probably going to jump from, like, right here, which will put me on that ice flow. And then I got to run and jump to here. Is it about to get me? It's about to get me in it. All right, so we're going to jump to there. And then we're going to jump to there. And jump to there. No! Do I got to go again? Oh, shit, dude. I got to go again. It's okay. At least we get another shot at this, and it looks like the door is getting further away from me. I don't know how I feel about this. We got this, though. We got this by the ass. Ugh. Well, it looks like we get to try again, so that's good. Uh, we've got a icebreaker coming towards us, as per last time. That door absolutely looks like it's sliding away from us right now. So let's not let it get away. Let's run this thing down. Alright, that puts us right there. We jump across that little bit of water. And then we got this little jump over here, and so I'm gonna try and make this work. We got this, though. I'm gonna jump from, like, right here, and then we need to be able to jump from right there. Okay, we got it. Then we got this little flow on this side. I'm gonna jump from here, and then we gotta be on this spot. We'll jump to here. We'll jump to here. How close is it? How close is it? Oh, it's not that close. We're outrunning it. Good. We're gonna make this thing. We are gonna make this thing, Nerd Castle. We will not die like this. We will not die like this. Although, after a dream like this, I would assume you'd be kind of exhausted. I'm gonna jump from, like, right here. That puts us right on the edge. Jump from there. No! Well, we got a little bit of our strength back, although it looks like we're quite ill at the moment. I don't know what that's gonna do for me right there. That redness and the dizziness needs to go, so the dizziness is causing us all kinds of problems right now. I don't know exactly how I want to go forward with all of this. We can go outside and we can walk around, but we're dizzy enough at the moment to where I don't feel like that's a good idea. Let's maybe fish for a little bit, although I can't see the little knobby. There it is. I got you. Come on, fishing hole. Let's get us a couple of fish. You got a line and I got a pole. We'll go down to the crowded hole. Boo boo. Ba -boo, ba -boo. We're fishing for some fishies. That's what you do with fishing. That's why the verb to fish has also got the word fish in it. I hope I can get a fish, that is my big wish. I really want to get that fish, so come to me right now. Get that fishy on the line so that I can fucking dine. I just want to eat some fishy every single day. Got one. There he is. I'll try and get another one too while I'm here because we need like a snack for the course of the day. If we don't have anything to eat, we're going to get ourselves into trouble, which means unfortunately I got to sit here and fry up some fishies for a little while. But our health is looking pretty good. We got like mental decay going on, which I'm assuming happens because I messed up the mini game and I couldn't make the jumping. Trust me, when you play this game, the jumping is hard. The jumping is definitely difficult. Like your character has a lot of weight behind him when he jumps and he kind of like slides a little bit when he jumps, which makes sense because you're on ice. But at the same time, it takes some getting used to. I'm getting better at it, 
but I promise you, like, the first five times I tried to jump, I fell straight into the water. Like, every single time, I fell straight into the water. Even if it was a super simple jump, I somehow managed to mess it up. Dude, this dizziness shit needs to go away. Go away, dizziness. I don't like you. And it doesn't look like the red stuff. Like, I don't know what the red is at the top of my meters. I'm assuming that that's stuff that I permanently, like, can't get back unless I take, like, pills or something like that. I assume it's got me, like, wounded or something. Cook these fish up, though. Let's get some fishies cooking because we're going to need some food before too long. We're also going to need some water, but I'm going to work this through the best way that I can. We'll having to worry about it too much. Cool. So our fishies are basically done. I'm probably going to am-nam one of them right now because... I make like a cat when it comes to fish. I actually don't like fish in real life. I strongly dislike fish. I don't like the texture of it. I don't like the flavor of it. I've never had a fish that I would rather have instead of a steak. I'll put it like that. I, I've never met that fish. That fish does not exist as far as I'm concerned in my world. Like, I would love to find a fish that tastes delish and that I would like to eat. The only good fish I've ever had was like a lemon pepper fish that I had going on. Do I still have my goggles on? Okay, so my goggles are off right now. We are going to stagger dizzy and lonely through the wasteland here and just hope for the best. I'll bunny hop over to here, and then we'll see if there's anything in any of these snow flows over here. Snow flows, where are you at? Let's see if there's anything on this side. Although I'm going to do like a little safe jump because I don't want to fall down and hurt my winky. Because I assume that's the part of me that gets wounded the most whenever I fall down. My winky. And if we're protecting something in this playthrough, I feel like we should focus pretty heavily on winky protection. I, I wear a cup everywhere that I go because I'm terrified for my winky. There are concrete threats in this world that seem to seek out and attempt to destroy my winky, mostly my dog. I don't know what it is about my dog and why he has such a hard time, like, sitting on my lap without busting my balls. But I swear to God, having a 60-pound dog step on your nuts is the worst. Alright, so we'll eat that fish. As soon as the fish is done, we'll drink some water. There we go. That fills it up the way that I like to see. We don't have a whole lot of strength left, so... I don't know what we do to get the red to go away. Can I just, like, crouch and do my thing and it'll go away on its own? Like, do I rest? Or... Because it doesn't look like I can sleep it off. It doesn't look like something that goes away. And until the red goes away, I don't think the dizziness is going to go away. I'm thinking that's the linked mechanic right there. And so... Oh, there's nothing in this one either. There's one over there on the left. Let me make sure that I check everything, though, because I don't want to leave anything behind. So I don't have anything over here. I don't really have much over on this side either. Our strength is pretty much depleted right now, which is a bummer, but I think we can live through it. I'll probably go back to the house and sleep if I have to. Maybe there'll be like some pills or something inside of here. Oh, there's a... Okay, so there's another tent, which means we've got another crate. There's always a crate next to a tent as far as I've been able to determine so far. Can't use that just yet. Let me scooch forward a bit and we'll dig this out a little bit further until it's fully pulled from the ice and then we'll grab it and please have something inside of it that fixes whatever these red lines are on my character uh, we've got fuel right there so I'm gonna go grab it we've got orange juice we've got water okay our tent is back over there so we're not that far out just yet we're not like panicky far out you know we're just a little far out I don't see anything right here. So my assumption would be that we're going to have to take riskier and riskier jumps as we get further into the game. So what is the goal of this game, you might be asking yourself? Well, at a certain point, a helicopter will fly overhead. And when the helicopter flies overhead, we're supposed to fire the flare gun at it. Now, we've already found the ammo for the flare gun. But we haven't had any luck finding the flare gun itself. My thought is that it's probably with the associated dead guys we keep finding all over the place. Okay, there was only one dead guy, but you get what I'm saying. I assume that the dead guy probably has the flare gun. Probably avoid sprinting for right now because actually it doesn't look like I can sprint anymore. We'll jump over to here, and so I guess we're just slow boating it throughout the rest of the Arctic wastes. I will... Uh... This pile right here looks dubious at best, although this one has something on top of it. Is that like a campfire or what? Oh, it's a dead guy. We found another dead guy. This isn't the same dead guy as before, though. This is a dead guy of differing quality. Let's see if we can dig out this crate. Alright, so we've got the crate. I'm gonna use that, so let's dump this some bitch out. We have what looks like a fishing lure, which I found before. We have a chocolate bar. 
No, we're actually full up right now. Let me eat something then. Oh, that's why the gas takes up a huge amount of space. Okay, well, let's just drink that. And then I will drop it after I get done drinking from it. So we will drop you. Probably should have left the fish back at the house because we're. I'm gonna. I'm gonna ditch the gas too. We can come back and get the gas later. But I feel like there's gonna be something useful on this guy that I want. So we've got a med kit over here of some kind. I propose that we dig for it. Unless I'm out of strength and I can't dig any further. Oh, there we go. Just pull that out of the snow then. Doesn't matter. Hey, a ham sandwich. Yay. Who doesn't love a ham sandwich every now and again? Ham sandwiches are good. I'm going to eat that and see if maybe it helps out a bit with my health. You can press tab to get out of any menu in case you're wondering how that functions. Let's see if this deader over here... I think I'm too tired to actually dig anymore. And I don't think I have the strength to get back to my tent, so we might black out out here. That would be especially problematic because I think that's going to be a game over situation where we end up dying. But I like the game, and it's kind of a rapid-fire arcade survival game where you get a score at the end. And I like that about it. Like, some people will not like that about it. They'll want it to be a game about, you know, building bases and stuff like that and kind of making a ton of... I guess provisions for the future. What I like about it is that you can load into this game and play it for like 15 minutes, die, and not really care. You don't lose that much. You don't gain that much. Every single time you play the game, the loot's a little bit different, and the stuff you're trying to find to win... Oh, we fainted. Well, we came back, though. That's good. I mean, I was concerned that was going to be like a death criteria for us, but we, we managed to come back. And so if I can get back over to the tent, I think we'll be super solid. You will note that the red has not gone away yet from our dizziness, and so I suppose we're just going to suffer from vertigo for the remainder of our quest. That totally sucks, and it's not something that I want to have, but it's something that apparently happens. I don't know if it's because I let my water get too low. I'm not sure what caused that. We didn't eat any bad food. We didn't drink any bad water, as far as I can tell. I, I don't know what brings on the dizziness, and I'm still trying to lock in on whatever causes this because I haven't been able to figure it out. Inside of here, we are going to have to... Is this frozen juice, or is this juice good? Drink the juice and see if maybe that'll get us all nice and set back up. So with a little dollop of juice down our throat... There we go. No strength from said juice, though. I was hoping we'd get some of our hunger meter back from that. We'll go back inside and hopefully I don't faint out here. If I faint out here again, we got big, serious, major problems. Come on, you can make it, Amiga. I, I believe you, Amigo. Amiga, I don't know if we're a female or a male. Doesn't really matter, in all fairness. We do have awesome gloves that are missing the fingers, though. Kind of misses the point of Arctic survival and trying to stay warm. But on the opposite end... I mean, you still look like a badass, you know? If you get a chance to look like Judd Nelson, who turns that shit down? We can be like the badass of the wastes. Alright, so I'm going to take my hood off. I am going to actually just rest right now. Let's go to sleep. Ah, we got the zombie minigame again. I got this one covered. I know what's up with this minigame. Where are they attacking our tent at? Where's our tent? It's over here. All right, zombies, let's do this thing. I'm wondering, since there's multiple piles, if they're going to add multiplayer someday. Sniper shot! I was going to say, if I got that zombie with that throw, that was going to be the throw of a goddamn lifetime. Almost got him with that one. Come on, zombie. Be a character. I gotta lock in on my aim again. I think I'm winging him over his head. Oh, we got another one right there. Trying to sneak in on me, zombie. You ain't got me fooled. I know exactly what you're up to, zombie. Almost got him. There we go. Nailed that one down. Couldn't get him with that one. Got him, though. Close range enough. Lead him a little bit and get him out of my face. Oh, that was way too shallow. Got him with that one, though. That was a headshot, so I'm particularly proud of that throw. I don't know who's closest. I think this guy. Ah, body parts. Got him. Why do snowballs act as, like, the ultimate zombie-killing machine? Like, why is that the case? I'm not questioning it, because we got a system that works, you know? And as long as the system works, who's going to bitch about it? But I'm just saying, like, an MP5 or something would be appreciated and just go tap, 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 tap on these dudes. There we go. Got him. Oh, I was hoping. 
I was hoping. Missed on that one. Almost led him too far, but that's okay. Perfect. Ooh. With that ice cold hit. A literal ice cold hit. Oh, I almost got him from hella deep. This is weirdly stimulating. I can't tell you why I like this so much, but I can tell you I do like throwing snowballs at zombies. It's weirdly entertaining. Come on, zombies! Die! I think he's the last one. Ah. There we go. Got him. Let's wake up and see what our bounty is. Maybe we got a little bit of our red off. Maybe we're looking a tad better. Oh, we did. We got a little bit of the red off. Good. I'm glad to see it. Are we still dizzy? We still got dizziness, so we still got to fight our way around that. Uh, we do have a fish. It's like 1 in the morning right now, which is a little rough. I'll probably just start fishing then. We'll see what happens here. Unfortunately, I can't see so well when I'm trying to fish in the dark. I think it pulls like slightly to the side, maybe. I don't know if I'm actually catching anything. That one went a little bit lower, so I'll pull the line, but I don't know. If I wake up to like a pile of fish, I'll just accept that as a victory. Did I get that one? Have I caught anything so far? No, I haven't caught anything so far. I'm just fishing blind at the moment, like an idiot. Well, then maybe a better use of our time is frying the fish that we have. I do like how they've made everything accessible through, like, a nice little radio menu that you don't have to worry about. Come on, give me something here. Just a fish, anything. I'm going to go ahead and cancel this out, and let's just fry up a fish real quick. We'll go back, we'll set the fishing rod off to the side, and I'm going to fry up a fish here. So we're going to jump into our little camp stove. I'm going to fillet the fish real fast, make sure I gut it properly so there's no toxins or anything inside of it. Although we're up in the Arctic, like how bad could the toxins actually be? It's not like we're fishing out of the Hudson here. And then we'll turn you on. There we go. Fry up that fish, and we'll get ourselves a little meal while we wait for the sun to come up. So there it is. We got ourselves a fish. Let's turn off our burner before we waste any more of that stuff. And then I'm going to jump into our menu here, and we shall eat it a fish in just a minute there we go eat that thing before everything our little reserve of fishy power gets too low and then we'll drink some water just to keep that topped off looks like the sun is starting to come up at like 4 30 in the morning and so maybe just maybe i've got enough light to fish now i can see the hole finally so that's good we'll throw this thing on down here and all i need is a little bit of visibility to tell if that thing's like tilting over or not but yeah this game is called iced if you like the game so far, uh, you can check it out down below. I've got the information for you. The game should be releasing on May 15th to Steam. In the next episode, I'll probably do a fresh start just because I find the dizziness mechanic to be annoying me. And so next time, we're going to try and make sure we don't end up with any diz uh, dizziness. Hit me with all of your requests if you want to keep playing this game. I will oblige. I've recorded multiple episodes and just waiting on people's response to the game in all fairness. I just want to know whether you guys like the game or not. And if you guys like the game, then, well, I like it too. And so I'll just keep on trucking with it. Iced. Here at the Nerd Castle. Bye, everybody.